Welcome in Barrel by Nav. Today I'm going to test and review this ESIP N2-18650 battery charger and I'm going to test it with my Mooker multimeter. You can check out the link above to see what this very device is made of. Let's see what we get in the box. The box is easy to open and contains the following items. The main body of the 18650 charger, one round green sticker, micro USB cable, warranty card and user manual where all charger specifications are listed. You might have noticed that this charger comes with no power supply, so you will have to use a USB charger to get this device running. According to the user manual, eSIB M2 charger can operate using 2 amps, 1 amp and 0.5 of an amp ports, where I would strongly recommend using 2 amp ports. The charger promises charging 18650s with 1 amp, but I will test it out later on. Using micro USB instead of mains cable provides some advantages. One of them is lack of heat up of this charger. My other 18650 charger, the IntelliCharger New i4, heats up like hell. But you have to remember that the new i4 contains a CDC inverter inside. As eSIB M2 has no inverter inside, it's relatively smaller. Well, it is time we got the device properly tested. I used the device a couple of times and I noticed that the charger is not as fast as I expected. I used my Mucker multimeter to check the power consumption of this device. To make sure that my readings are accurate, I used a USB multimeter a couple of times with different USB ports. I began testing with my Dudukul extension lead with four USB ports. You can watch review of this item, link above in the corner. Then with my Suaoki battery pack, link above as well. And then with my PC USBs. These are the readings that I received. When I plugged the device into my Dudukul extension USB port and Suaoki power bank port, the multimeter showed more or less 4.97 volts and 0.42 of an amp for two cells in the charger with 0.2 of an amp with one cell in the charger. Let's do the maths. 4.97 volt by 0.42 of an amp equals more or less 2.1 watts. And to charge the cells with one amp as promised by the manufacturer, we would would need 4.3 volts by 1 amp and then we have to multiply it by 2 because we want to charge two cells in the same time and we get 8.6 of a watt. So hello, how it is possible that this charger promises 1 amp charging when it takes only 2.1 watts from the USB port? It seems that the charger provides only 0.25 of an amp of charging power. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below but I think that this very manufacturer is trying to mislead customers and we do not like that. After a couple of charging runs I have to admit that the charging times are not spectacular and it is clear that this device is not as described. If I was to give you advice on what to buy I would recommend this IntelliCharger new i2 or i4 that I tested a couple of weeks ago. Yes it does heat up, yes it offers 0.25 of an amp of charging current if you are charging 4 cells in the same time, but if you are charging only 2 cells it offers 0.5 of an amp and if you're charging only one cell, it will give you a full blast at one amp and you'll get your cell charged quickly. Now it's time for the final grade. In my less than humble opinion, this is not a bad charger. It is small, handy, cheap if bought on Amazon or AliExpress. Affiliate links below, because this type of chargers are quite dear if you were to buy them here in Ireland. I found similar items on Maplin website with a price tag of 50 euros, so come on. So the final grade would be 70 out of 100. If the manufacturer gave us proper data about this device, but because they did not, 50 out of 100. There is one more thing about this charger, it will only charge 3.7 volt cells from the 18650 family and that is simply a joke. I recommend you getting neat core IntelliCharger instead. Affiliate links below from both Amazon and AliExpress. This neat core IntelliCharger seem to be much better, offering much more and the range of cells they can charge is spectacular. They come in many different forms from 1 to 8 cell chargers. So to be honest, I have to raise the rating of the IntelliCharger to 85 out of 100. I like it much more after testing the eSIB M2. That's it for today. Remember about the deck comments below, share your experience and give others a hand in buying the best stuff on the market. Remember about the bell notifications and see you next time.